Hey everyone, so this is a simple eyeliner look. And the first thing you want to do is moisturize your lips. I forgot to do that when I first did the lips, um, the eye. But that is a good thing because you want them to be setting in so it just helps your lipsticks, you know. So yeah, once I've done that, it's just any clear lipstick will, or lip chapstick will do. Um, that's what it looks like in one eye. Very simple, and I really like it. It's nice. And so now I'm taking this, just any small end of a brush, um, to help you tight line your, um, well, yeah, tight line your eye. And tight lining is basically your upper water line. And so this is just a little tip you see me doing. It helps keep your eye steady and um, just helps it. Easier to apply. And the eyeliner I'm using is Sephora's Flashy Waterproof Eyeliner in um, Flashy Black, I believe. And then I'm reaching for a sharpener that I don't have. So, yeah, it's best to have these, um, your tools really sharpened when you're using them because it just is easier to do. And I'm trying to fix my mirror, so, because it's really hard to get in frame and do it at the same time. And I have to use opposite hands than the ones that I normally use just because um, I'm right-handed. No, yeah, right-handed. So really just try any angle. It's, it's something that takes a lot of skill, just like getting a perfect black eyeliner, winged eyeliner. It's all, you know, have to practice and so now I'm taking a black eyeliner and this is a Sephora Nano Eyeliner in Glittery Brown and this severely needs to be sharpened it keeps scratching me just line your waterline and kind of get it in your lash line also you want it um to just give it a little more of a smokier look you won't quite see it until the finished look or notice it but it just helps darken the look up a little. And I like it because my eyes don't look even to me. And it helps even them out. And now I am applying, I have my NYX felt tip eyeliner and it's in dark brown. And I'm just kind of trying to line it and wing it out. And the angle of my wing kind of where the angle of my eye is. From the angle of my, well, I, okay, I'm not going to go too much detail into how I'm doing all this because I'm going to be doing a mini series in January uh, of eyeliner, just all about eyeliner. So you don't really, it, you don't really need to see this yet unless you um, would like that series sooner. This is sped up, by the way. Okay, so once you have it how you like, I don't like it that thick, and I also don't like it really thin. Um, I kind of like it noticeable, yet not, oh, she's got eyeliner on, she looks like a tramp. Okay, so now I'm applying my NYX Doll Eye Mascara, and it's in extra black and waterproof. And you can actually win this mascara along with two other things in my contest, uh, actually one other thing, in my contest video, which is, um, I think the second to last video I just did, I don't know. And now I'm just kind of combing through my lashes because they just get clumpy because my lashes, they like work together. I don't know. But I should have done it beforehand. Oh well. So that's how it looks. Now I'm not going to fool you. I do have long lashes, but it does make them a lot longer. Now I'm using my Maybelline uh, single eyeshadow in nutmeg in an angled brush that's used for like contouring your nose i'm using the um putting it at an angle in my crease and you want just a light amount and blend it in you want it really really blended very 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 well because it just makes it look nicer and you can kind of blend it in to where it looks like an eyeshadow also like you have two colors on your eyes when you just have one and you don't want it very dark and you kind of keep your eye open so it just looks more natural. Now I'm looking for a blush. 
Sorry, I just don't feel like editing this out. Oh, yeah. Now, let's uh, take a flat shader brush and this L'Oreal Hit Pigment, and it's 102 Exciting. Make sure you don't get a lot in it, so just tap off the top. I'm trying to get something to show you the color. This is just to add some glitter to our eyes. Uh, it's a pearl iridescent color with purple reflex glitter in it, and it's super sparkly. And this was like a spur of the moment type of thing. I just thought it would be really pretty. I typically don't do this. I used to do a lot, but I don't do this that eyeshadow anymore. And now I'm singing and making a complete fool of myself. Oh, and now this is where I realized I cracked my favorite eyeshadow um, in my makeup bag. And so I realized that I have to depot it now. Okay, so taking any blush brush, I prefer an angled blush brush from the drugstore. And a pink uh, blush kind of just gives you a nice little glow. Which I find very important because it just makes you look nicer. And now I'm singing something by All American Rejects. Or Radiohead, I'm not quite sure. Now I'm just wiping off the extra chapstick just because I don't really want it there for some reason. I'm reaching for my lipstick and it's a No Way X round lipstick in Narcissus. It's just a nice little pink color. I'm trying to wipe off like some excess color it had on. But that's just, and you just dab it on your lips. You don't want like full power with it because it is really really pink I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible not really plumping lip gloss in I think it's in plumping rose but it's like my favorite and so that's it it's a complete look and now you get a little bit of me dancing and modeling and showing off this really cute look I really like so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye